Hi guys Hi and guys welcome or welcome, welcome back to another video, video on the channel. channel and today we are going to be doing a story about You Got It, Linden Lighting. So before we do just quickly start, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we post new videos. And who knows, we might do another story if you request um, another story. So comment down in the comment section if you want us to do a story on anything else. We can do stories. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. So, first of all, just imagine, take a second to think, if the world around you was all just linen. Nothing else, just linen. Linen all the way. That would be a boring world. Anyway, let's start off with ways. This light right here, this is a white light. You have a look in here, it is just too bright. It is just way too bright. So you can see that that's pretty bright. In here, this is a medium stone grey. This is much, is it, is, yeah, this is much of an improvement. Now in here is for the whole suggestion of the video, the linen light. It feels nice and warm and cosy in here. It feels really nice. So I'd recommend to have linen lighting if you can. And in here is the red lighting. Not very good. So you don't want to use neon colours. Now, just imagine if the world around you was just linen. Sitting in a linen office chair. They're normally black. You don't see linen office chairs. It looks very bad. Even if I show you in build mode. It looks very bad. Now I'm going to delete this red one because I, th I feel like this just literally just takes away from the video. So I'll, I'll be able to go and re-show you some um, the lights again. But just once I add a few more things. Okay, so let's go back and do the lights again. So you can see that this white one here. Super duper duper bright. Super bright. Super bright. You see the medium stone grey is an improvement. It's actually quite dim. But then when you see the linen one. It gives off nice light. It's not overpowered by the red. And you can live in this house. I mean even if you have like a nice wallpaper colour. It's really nice. Now we're going to go through and show you some linen stuff. So we've got right here the open sign. As linen. Then we've got some signs, some signs. Yes, Bloxburg have signs. I can actually show you something pretty cool. They um, they have um, like in the city. I think they have like traffic lights. So, um, traff. There you go. Tra traffic lights. Hilarious. You can get traffic lights if you're gonna make a city. Get the traffic lights today, people. Like, linen traffic lights. Imagine a world of just linen traffic lights. Like, lol. Look at them go. If only we could look at this. And then also, a new thing that the Bloxburg updated. Um, I think it's options. Yeah, you can make a primary colour. So, you can literally put linen there if you really wanted to. I'm going to change that eventually. But, yeah. New update. Hint. So, the signs. No parking. Don't park in front of the sign. Um, and then you've got to speed limit fast and speed limit slow like right next to it. So, yeah. Make sure that when you are out on the road, though, you do look at your signage. So, no parking. Linen, even though some things don't change to, like, proper linen. But, yeah. Speed limit fast. Linen. Speed limit slow. Linen. Um, sign. Linen. Uh, coat hanger thingy. Linen. I mean, t like, hat stand thing. Linen. Stop sign, linen, stool, linen, and then my emote's gonna go like, not all linen, like, holy moly, like, I laugh, like, this is astounding. Ha ha ha, this is astounding. Okay, an office chair, more linen, an end table, linen, a plant, linen, a crate, linen, a mat, linen. A customised character thing, linen. A bookshelf, linen. A trash bin, linen. A plant, linen. What you're trying to say is that everything's linen. Well, just, just imagine a world of linen and then we're going to get to the real information part. So if you see it for about two minutes, you'll probably actually see like some information part about how it's evolved over time. Um, this chair, linen. This table, linen. This um, storage system, linen. This dead tree, which I'm going to try and climb up. Um, just because I wanted to. 
linen. Uh, can I get to the top? Is this the top? Yes, it's um, it's trying to go up my butt. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so yeah, dead tree linen, mat, another mat linen, a chair linen. Hallelujah for linen. Looks like the chair looks pretty cool though. Don't mind that. Um, this dining table linen, this traffic cone linen, this plant linen, this plant. I mean, this like dirt pile linen. This um, slab thing, linen. This tree, linen. This bush, linen. This exit, linen. And this path, linen. A way to fix this is by using your linen stuff, but don't use it all the time. Otherwise, it will overpower. So here's a linen light and here's a linen wallpaper that a lot of people commonly use. They use it for the planks long. But still industrial white for planks, as long as I'm going to show you right here, is okay. Now, I know this is called the story of linen lighting. And I know that you want to see the story part. So, why not we are going to get right into the story part. So, Bloxburg, if I'm pretty sure, I think it originated in around 2016. There's the... there. I think it originated... It came around in about 2016, so um, so yeah, it came around in 2016. So that was when Bloxburg started. Um, I'm pretty sure it was. I'll get. I'll show you guys at the end when it was created. But 2016 is my guess. Comment down your guess, and comment down if you want any other stories um, ever. Um, so first of all, everyone was doing the the craze of light so just whatever because Bloxburg was a bit limited back then and it was more like use your like use your white light but when you build a house especially if you build a big mansion a white light is legit just too bright especially if you have it like so I'm just gonna go and I know don't build box houses I'm breaking my own rule here but this is just to show you professionalism about lighting doors I'm legit just going to use a simple door frame and chuck a roof on it. It is pretty simple to build a house like this and you can have it done in what? A few minutes. You can have it fully decorated and everything. Oh, well, I forgot, I forgot the main part, the lighting. This is mainly uh, information on lighting. But let's just put this down. White light here, white light there. Let's put one here. Oh, let's put one there. Now, let's go inside. Looks like pure daylight. It looks even worse than that. It is so bright in here. I can probably look at my character's tongue. I can probably look into his mouth from there. Probably up his nose. And that's... You don't look up his nose. But anyway, it explains the point. Now, let's do the same. But this time, let's do it with linen lighting. Let's show you the truth about linen lighting. Let's show you... That linen lighting as is is as good as it seems. So you see a lot of the pastely aesthetic houses have the linen, and sometimes you're like, oh, I'm just so sick of this linen that I just don't want it. I just don't like it, and that's okay if you don't like it. That is totally your opinion and your choice. But why do I want these string lights? I don't want these string lights. But getting close to Christmas time, episode ten. For the Minecraft Survival Series coming out next week as well. So stay tuned for that by subscribing. But now I'm going to change this to linen. Not beige, linen. Now you're going to see the change is going to come right away. You can already see it's going darker. And when I eliminate that last light, it's going to change. So remember this. Now turn it to that. Now let's go and see. It gives off light. It is still gives off light. But if you have a look at the shadow from outside, this gives off a yellowy colour over here. This gives off an this gives off an orangey colour over here. So now I'm gonna compare the pair. The two. Let's go white versus linen. So in the whites, white is way too bright. I would not want to live in that. And then when you put your furniture in, you do realise that it's too too bright. The linen 
this is almost perfect. I mean, you could even tone it down to beige if you wanted to. So I'm just going to show you what beige, what beige looks like. Just in case if you do want to use beige for lighting. Because yet again, it is your choice about what you use for your lighting. I cannot make this decision for you. Um, but let's have a look at beige. It's a bit, it's, I don't know. I don't know about beige for lighting. It gives off. You can see it over here, it gives off another, it's a bit like linen really. So even using beige is okay, it gives off like that, like, I don't know, it's still the same warm feel, like probably a colour that you could even have in real life for a, for a light, it's totally gettable. Now, let's get into the story of it. So, linen lighting back then was not good. People didn't want to use it. People didn't think linen was the, the, the game changer. So this was, when Bloxburg was created, they weren't expecting that linen was going to go massive. So this, let's just say we're in about 2015, the time where Bloxburg is being created. So Cop, Coptus and Froggy Hops are working on their things. They are trying to, um, they're working on them and they think, oh, linen. I wonder what this might be useful for. They put it into the game. Of course, because it's in there right now. And then people were just ignoring it. They were only using it for planks long, as I can show you right here. Planks long. In other words, the wall on the right. This one right here. This one. But in 2016, it was the same thing. It was people using their white lights and making big mansions so they were going into build mode and they were like all right let's just go and build all right let's just start here let's just bring this down right over here let's just make a massive uneven box house that's what they were like and linen was getting neglected and seeing that i wasn't a player of blocksburg in 2016 or 2017 um, I, I have, I've been more like a 2018, 2019 player of Bloxburg heading into 2020, but people were just like, all right, the bigger, the better. Oh, I have the large plot game pass. Why not go around and just build a palace? And that palace didn't turn out. I mean, look, if you want to build it from here, it's $400 for one wall around. Let's go to the other side. It probably, my guess is about another 400 bucks. Chuck in some mega bucks there, 400 bucks. So that is 1,200 to build your whole walls of your plot. And then for small plot, I'll calculate it for you guys as well. It would be, so it will be the same for small plot, 240. So that's still a lot. You don't want to reinforce your plot with walls. Now, I did forget to do one thing for the linen though. I've got to do a linen fence. So, let's just do and do this tall wooden fence. No, tall wooden fence. And let's see what that looks like in linen. Looks like that. It looks, I mean, it. when I put it this way, it does look boring. I'm gonna tell you this right now, but this is mainly to get the lighting across. Let's go back to 2016 again. So linen was getting neglected, it was not being used, and people were like, ooh, neon now. Neon, we've brought in bright red to the game, let's build a red house. So that's what they did, they were still building their massive mansions, but this time I'm just going to do a demonstration on a small mansion, like a small little boxy, and they were like, alright, let's start by putting really red on this wall. Um... Why not we go for a new yellow? That would look brilliant on this wall. Hmm, this wall, hmm, teal. How about that for a nice little house? Hmm, this wall, why not put a bright orange on there? No, lime green. They were building all these houses and it was getting a bit ridiculous. It was like, really? We don't want these houses in the game. And then that's when they started to become aesthetic, in a way. So if you haven't gone and check out my um, Judging People's Roblox Bloxburg House, go and check that out. And what your Roblox Bloxburg House is about, your part one and part two, go and check that out. They will be linked in the description so then you can see what I say about houses. 
Now, when this came in, it was like, seriously? We don't want this. We don't want this to be our house. Why not we start using some black in there? And then this brought onto the theme of black and white houses, which, yes, they are modern. We get that. That's what, if you want to try and get modern across, why not use black and white? So, people went to go and do that. Alright, black this wool, white this wool. Black this wool, white this wool. Now, on black, materials don't show up as well. So, say for example, if I want to go and put some ricks, I mean, they barely show up. It's a plaid that looks like, but that's not the point. So, now, oh yes, I've gone and built my beautiful modern mansion. Uh, no, you haven't. You've built a black and white house. And you've probably used white lighting inside to make it modern. But for those cosy houses, you use linen lighting. It's going to get a long way and your house will be appreciated. Now, don't forget, Aesthetic uses the pastel colours. So, like, if I show you on my, um, on my, on this right here, on my um, builder's tool colour palette thing... They've got like, yes, they've got their linen in it. They'd probably have like a pastel brown. You've got like... Okay, I'm just going to go through the colours so then you can see them. Um, so, yeah, if you want to make this part go slower, please do. Because I'm going through all the colours right now. Um, quite quickly. Because this is not the main point of the video. But linen is definitely one of the best colours. And look at the roof. Uh, if you haven't um, seen what they look like, then this could give you inspiration for your Bloxburg house. Now, I wouldn't recommend going out and, like, even just like a sage green. Sage green. That's what I was looking for in the other video. Wow, I can't believe I couldn't find it. Well, anyway, I'll demonstrate sage green on a, um, on a tree in a sec. Sage green. Nice. But this is just the real story of linen lighting and... It's, linen was neglected in 2017, still. People were still, oh yes, in real life, these are the colours that we use, but they just weren't kind of executing it to the best level they could have. And then next thing you know, it comes 2018, and this is when I started playing Bloxburg. And people were like, all right, let's actually just tone down our houses a bit. We don't need big houses. We don't need to prove, oh, we've got millions of dollars. We are rich, we are the best. It doesn't work that way. So, people thought, alright, let's just tone down our houses a little bit. Let's just hold it there. Let's actually start building some proper houses that look professional, that look like real life, that look proper. They, they just look proper. They, they give that nice vibe feel off and they just look proper. So, then that started bringing in the family homes with, homes with the use of different roofs and all that stuff and from there it just erupted it was people started to actually take this take that's the sage green on tree started to like really appreciate linen not use it on everything like i have here this was an over exaggeration if linen was life but to try and get the point across this might help if you get what i mean so the next thing is in 2018, linen started to become more popular. Family houses, homes were more popular around. Aesthetic homes were more popular. And rustic homes were more pop popular. They toned down their modern mansions, so then they were not as big. People started to think more about the gardening side of things as well. So let's not build a box house. And let's actually put a bit of shape into our house. Let's have a garage. Let's save up for a car later on. Let's put some trees around our house. Let's put some plants around. That's the kind of thing that they wanted to actually do. So then the next thing that I thought was, then it, then it came into 2019. In other words, from this date right now, last year. And then people were like, oh, linen lining is actually really good for the, our homes. It's warm, it's cosy, it's nice, it's, it's just good. It's got all the, it ticks all the boxes. It's for a family house. It just looks good in Bloxburg. And it gives off that nice vibe. It just feels right. It just feels good for my family home. Now, yes, it doesn't go with every... It doesn't go with every home. And I get that. But 
it was just said, all right, let's start using linen lighting on our homes because it is just a lot better. It feels more better. It feels more warm and cozy, like what you want a house to be. And then people also turned it down with that again and just thought, okay, even if we just build a small home, a one garage, a three bedroom and a two bathroom house, that'll see us through. We will add a laundry to it. And that's all you really need. You don't, oh, and a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room. Other than that, you don't need anything else. A garage, a garden, um, as I just listed before. Garage, garden, kitchen, living room, dining room, um, bedroom, bathroom, and a laundry is all you need. So that can be in a single story way or a double story. A triple story, don't get into that. But the point is from here is that I hope you guys are all going to use linen lighting in your Blocksburg builds and even some linen on these planks right here. Don't use linen for everything as it will become really boring, really repetitive and it'll suck. But it's just an idea. Now I'm just going to start deleting some of this stuff while I continue to talk. But as I said earlier, it's just linen can look a bit plain but putting materials onto it can make it look really good so um also don't forget to use sage green on your trees now as i wanted to say a little bit earlier don't underrate linen it was underrated before and i can see why but now just make sure that it's all good linen lighting doesn't suck anymore it is a good thing and we've all just got to appreciate that a bit more i reckon it is okay. It is totally fine to like linen lighting. And it's totally fine not to, but as I said, don't use the white bright lights. If you medium stone grey is much more of an improvement. And also make sure that you use like the sleek ceiling lights or the ones that I've used in today's video. Um, just so that will really help you out. But yeah, I really hope that this has actually made you a bit more appreciative of linen just take a moment breathe think about it and maybe get some inspiration for your Blocksburg house see if you can execute it don't forget to use linen especially with family home and white is too bright you can't see anything you can't see upstairs if you use linen it is I mean if you use white it is pretty simple um, but here's the alternative right here linen lighting linen for your um planks and one more thing you'd probably use linen for is your ready for it your fences but that is probably it i don't think you'll be using linen for anything else um don't don't go making a whole linen house i'm not i might do a linen house only challenge in the future Comment down if you want that, if you want a one colour building challenge, because I know they're fairly popular. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this like short sort of Bloxburg movie style thing. And if you have, smash that like button and do subscribe. Um, but yeah, make sure to use the linen lighting. Do make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Use linen lighting in Bloxburg. And that is it from us now, guys. So, bye guys. Bye. Bye. bye.